So, Tony Pulis and uh, West Brom, they're fourth bottom. They've lost four in a row. Is his job on the line? Well, from the reaction of the fans, they're not very happy with the way the team are playing. It all depends on how West Ham did today. If David Moyes gets a win, that puts West Brom possibly in the bottom three on goal difference. It all comes down to goal difference now. Um, if Watford decide to spank West Ham today, which they have every chance of doing, it could save Tony Pulis' his job. The fact that the owners are foreign, the fact that the Berahino saga is still lingering at the club in the aftermath of that, um, and the bad management of that, um, the fact that they haven't really got any good signings this summer, team stagnated, um, they haven't been scoring enough goals, they've been seeding too many, um, they've just hit a rough patch, though. they've lost four in a row, and I think, yeah, you look at the sides around them, um, the three sides below them don't look like they can be better than West Brom, but West Brom could get worse. But where Tony Pierce has never been relegated as a manager. He's either got promotion or stayed in the same league that he's always been in. And he did really well with Stoke, who were a similar club in a similar position. When they came from the Championship, they were literally on a shoestring budget. Everyone said they'd be the whipping boys when they came up. They've stayed up and got better. And it's a shame that Pulis left Stoke. It's a shame Pulis left Palace. I think he, he, he obviously he took Stoke as far as he could uh, with his tactics and his nous. And the club wanted a different approach. And that's fair enough. That's the end of an era. He goes to Palace. They treat him like dog crap. Palace treats managers like crap. They do. So he's ended up at West Brom. He's done reasonably well. This season's been a bit of a disaster. Uh, yeah. That really. It's been a disaster. It's not been the worst season. I mean, look at the three teams below them. They've been far worse. At least Palace are in. I oh know, at least uh, West Brom are in double figures for points um, but yeah it, it's not good um, so we have to see how West Ham do today if West Ham win that's Pulis' job done as soon as they step in the bottom three the new owners who are Chinese issue I have um, probably don't speak English as a first language they probably don't speak English at all so they have an interpreter so they probably seem like nice people but really they're, they are planning to stab him in the back but I want to hear from the fans if the fans are like we've had enough of Pulis and that's a great insight. If the fans say no, we we are done with Pulis. He's he's taken us as far as he can. Um, we shall have to see who replaces him. But there's not many managers on the market, so we have to see. Um, yeah, but there they just hit a rocky patch of form, and the, the league is far more competitive than it was when West Brom hired Pulis. I feel um, far more competitive. Um, we just have to see what happens uh, going forward and we have to see what action the chairman, the board, the owners who are foreign so there's an issue there um, and the fans have to have some say in this this is what really annoys me about about football is um, fans get taken for granted a lot of the time not listened to a lot of the time um, you look at West Ham the fans are really unhappy with the appointment of Moyes they're really unhappy with the the whole situation of moving stadium, not giving billets time, they hate going like the owners. So you whisk a situation like West Ham where there's massive discontent, there's issues with crowd trouble, there's issues with, with, with people leaving the game early, you don't want that. West Brom hasn't been that. Uh, there was booing yesterday, the fans are getting frustrated with the lack of performances and the lack of results, and that's understandable, they've been used to playing better. I think the Berahino saga onwards has been a downward spiral for West Brom. It's been a slow decline, um, which has got more pronounced this season. That could have been handled a lot better. That whole that whole dispute between Berahino, Pulis and the club, that could have been handled so much better. And Berahino hasn't really done much where he's gone. So I think the way it was handled damaged the club, not the player. The player was useless, over overrated, and is glad they got rid of him. He's not done much where he's gone. So it's not the end of the world. But yeah, we'll see what happens with Pierce. I think he is under a lot of pressure. He might not survive the week. Um, so we'll see. I was right about Coleman not surviving the day. Um, almost to the hour. So we'll see about well, Pierce. We'll have to see what the West Ham result brings today. If West Ham win, I think that's Pierce done. As far as I know, he's still in the job. So he might get another week. Who knows. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll have some more videos for you soon. Please like and subscribe. And if you're a West Brom fan, place your comments below. I would love to hear from you and hear what your feedback is on Pulis. If you think he's the wrong guy for the job, if you think he's, he needs a bit more time, if you think the club needs to change, um, and what your interaction is with the owners, I would love to hear from West Brom fans. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll have another video for you soon.